is Thomas. And we're here today um, with the video. In the music room. We're in the music room <laughs> at my family home, which is an old farm uh, in the deepest, darkest Kent countryside. And um, Really? The, the Kent countryside, yeah. So, um, the biggest, the biggest in Kent's countryside. Uh, deepest, darkest. That's what I said. But it's not really the deepest, darkest. It just, it's that's just a way of saying things. So we're in the deepest, darkest of Kent's countryside, and um, this video is about the great outdoors. Now, I don't know if I ever told you this, Thomas, right? But when I was a little boy, I always had this weird feeling. That one day, I'd be in a wheelchair. And um, I had this weird feeling, it was almost like a daydream, and a re reoccurring theme, um, and I always thought to myself, you know what, I don't think I would be minding it too much, I think as long as I can get outside and enjoy the, the sunshine, the fresh air, nature, as long as I can do that, you know, it's not going to be great, but I think it won't be, won't be a big deal. Uh, and I always just had this really weird feeling that, oh no, I'm not going to be, if I was in a wheelchair, I wouldn't be too bummed out as long as I could enjoy the great outdoors um, and the countryside and the sunshine beating you, on your face. You just have, you just can't go in the woods, that's the problem. I've been in the woods in this chair, you know, the very first day I got, I got this chair, they came to deliver it here and uh, I took it in the woods. And I've been in the woods a few times, it's just not that easy and there's lots of holes. So I tend to not go in the woods, I tend to let you guys go off and do some adventures. Well, I want to see you. Yeah. So um, as Thomas got a bit older, uh, I tended to come here, or, or, or we tended to come here. Most and weekends, swim. Yeah, we, we go for a swim because we're lucky my parents have an indoor um, pool. Um, and we, we would come here on the weekend. My mum's a music teacher, hence the piano and everything. So um, she would give you a music lesson. We would go for a swim. We would tend to explore the woods and the fields, look out for nature, and just generally kind of bump along the fields like two dudes in the sunshine. And just enjoy the great outdoors. Yeah. Uh, there's an aerodrome quite close to here, so we would tend to then go there on the way back, have a cup of tea, watch some aeroplanes, take off and land, and parachute jumps. Uh, that will be going on. So um, I hope you like the video and uh, we'll see you in the middle uh, to see what adventures we get up to in the great outdoors. Where are you going? I don't think so. I've always seen that as a dry ditch. I don't think I've ever seen it. Much, much much taller than our grass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, you know why it's much bumpier than normal? It's because I got my silly little wheels on. I haven't got my big oh, off-road tires. Nice. Well, let's compare these off. Let's compare these off. Well, let's You have to hold on because I can't hold you. And you've got no, no, hold on to the chair. I want you falling off the hurt yourself. I'm holding on. So we are, so we are off on an adventure. Do you look at the birdie? It's a birdie. It's a birdie. We saw a few minutes ago, didn't we, Tom? What did we see a few minutes ago? We saw some geese. Sky. A whole 
Jackal the Geese. We saw two, didn't we? Shape. We we saw two, didn't we? Yeah. Well, this is like super fun. I know. It went over the woods. So try not to trample them, okay? So try. Well, Tom, don't tread on it. I'm joking. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a really good picture. <laughs> oh. Here you go. Spider! Super. <laughs> <laughs> he looks tough. <laughs> well, when I was embarking after that, I, I was really strong like a Hulk and I, I nearly, I was so close to turn green. Well, that was us messing around in the fields, <laughs> in the farm. Bumping around. Bumping like around like two dudes. Um, in the next part of the video, it's all about the animals and the wildlife that we discovered while mm. we've been looking around here. And today when we arrived, we saw pheasants. We saw pheasants that had just taken off. Uh, I didn't see them, but I saw one going into the woodland walk. Yeah. Yeah. So the um, the fields around where my family live, um, there are sometimes sheep, sometimes cows. Um, but cows? Yeah, you've oh, yeah. never seen them, but obviously I, I grew up here, so there were sometimes cows, mostly sheep. Um, but they wouldn't yeah, they're, be. They're, they're sheep here right now today. They wouldn't be anything to do with us. There's, there's a farmer that manages them and just uses the land to graze their flock. Mm -hmm. This year, obviously, you being a bit older and being more interested in nature. Uh, you came to me and said, oh, Dad, can we go say hello to the sheep? I'm like, I, I grew up here. They're not tame. Um, they would just move away from you. And you wouldn't go anywhere near them when they've got babies because they, they get quite kind of, um, I wouldn't say aggressive, but they it's just not, it's not the right thing they to do. They just get angry. Yeah, because they want to protect their babies and they get very scared. So we wouldn't stress them out. Um, but we went up to them to try and say hello. And you I got, I picked some up some grass and handed it out to the sheep. They just ran away. And they just ran away. And, <laughs> yeah. and they have a real big freak out with the drone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They weren't too keen on being rounded up by the drone. Um, so yeah, the second half is all about the animals and the nature um, that we've discovered. Recently, we got a wildlife camera. I've been setting that up overnight just to see what lurks in the deepest darkest. 
Peter Rabbit. Peter Rabbit. So uh, when we were having a uh, walk down to the woods, now there's a part of the fields which we call the woodland walk. Which is a path that goes to it's the woods. It's a path that goes all the way down to the woods. It makes it a bit easier for me to get down there, especially in the winter or when the grass is growing long. Uh, and it's an area uh, where the hedgerow's been removed and it's all nice and flat. So um, it's, it's good to get down to the woods. Yeah. And we were going down to the woods looking for wildlife and we saw a very large... Hole, hole underneath a, under tree. a tree. If you've ever seen the latest With film of Peter, Peter Rabbit, Rabbit, he lives in a... A hole under a tree. Under a tree. So we were joking, saying, well, look, here's Peter Rabbit. Um, and we put the wildlife camera up there. We, we saw a fox, squirrel, a badger. Spoiler alert, that bit's coming up. So we've set a, we, we, we've set a wildlife camera up to film what goes on in and out of this hole. And uh, you'll see what happens. Okay, um, when I was coming down here a little while ago, we were planning our walk to go in the scary woods at night. And when I came on the way back, I saw this hole under the tree and we found Peter Rabbit's home. Because Peter Rabbit's home in the movie is, is under, under a tree. tree. Look at that, there and he is. It looks just like the shape of the hole, doesn't it? Thomas, we're back at the Peter Rabbit tree, aren't we, Tom? This is the Peter Rabbit tree. Oh. And what are you going to see up there? And we found owl nests. Oh, can you see that spider, Dad? Dad, can you see that spider? I can't see a spider. It's huge. Oh, yeah, I can see him. Yeah. Oh, it is a cat. It's big, isn't it? It's So, we had the wildlife camera right on that branch, facing that big hole down there. We'll see foxes, we'll see badges, we'll see everything.
Right, well that's it for the great outdoors. Uh, it really was an amazing place to grow up. And even though I was out in the countryside and didn't have any friends close by, you can walk around your mates' houses or anything. Uh, you can just walk into but town. But you still had, you still had fun running around the fields. Yeah, and I had two sisters, one brother, so there was four of us, and we'd make our own games up. And we'd have friends in other villages that we would meet up with. Um, Did but you used to play it in the fields. Sometimes we used to play it in the field. My cousins would come over. I've got lots of cousins, uh, and we would run up and down the fields playing it when we were when we were youngsters. Um, did, you, did you used to be on a lot? You're trying to make out that I'm not very good at running. <laughs> you, so you, mu you, must have, you must have been on a lot. Well, yeah, but when I was a younger child, I didn't have anything wrong with me. My muscles were completely normal and healthy. I mean, yes, I was never the fastest, so I used to be on a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Thomas. Um, but this place has been great over the years for family parties, family get-togethers. It's got the space, uh, especially during the summertime. Uh, we've had some really good, um, when me and your mother, Joanne, um, when we got engaged, we had a big engagement party here, and that was great fun, because uh, everyone could get together and congregate. It's a little bit out of the way for people to get to. I mean, it took us 40, 45 minutes to drive here today. Um, yeah, because we live in Canterbury, and this is in Outside Smarden. Canterbury. It's just outside Smarden. So, um... But when you come here and you've got all the wildlife and the nature and everything else, it's, it's kind of quite magical. Um, so we're very lucky, very grateful. Uh, and obviously having a chair that can go off-road off -road is really good. Because I know I came here when I was walking. I had a friend who was in a wheelchair. Um, and he had a very kind of basic wheelchair. I don't know what, what type. But uh, as soon as we tried to go in the field, it just the wheels spun and it wouldn't move. So... When I did my research, I wanted to look for an all-terrain chair. This chair comes from Australia. Um, and by and company, a, there's a lot of off-road in Australia. Possibly. I've never been. Have, have you been? No. No? It, <laughs> only in my dreams. Only in your once. dreams. Okay. So uh, having an all-terrain chair is perfect for here. Uh, and um, the yeah, go around when it's really muddy up in the field. Yee. But then, of course, of chaos. the mud gets everywhere. And <laughs> there's mud. quite a lot of mud in with me today. Sorry, Grandma. Um, <laughs> okay, well, I hope you like the video. And um, on top. we'll see you on the next one. I do write a very short bit in the field because it's very fun. Hold on, hold on. Hello. Hello. Yeah, this is an old chair. Oh, so slow compared to the old one, the new one. Right.